Diamond Talk görevüyle tekrar karşınızdayım arkadaşlar. Metal Sword Fire Phantom Pain. İkinci görevimiz bu. This base belongs to you now. Make diamond dogs the force it deserves them. Like any organization, we need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. To start bringing people in, use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of that. Go on. Put them on the Anyone you want. Now approach him and extract him. Good. Extraction complete. You can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Select staff. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please specify That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. You can also Fulton extract individuals complete. you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC? I'm ready, next. boss. Show them how it's done, boss. CQC is the algorithm. Try throwing them. It's the best way to knock Kıslayarak, someone out instantly. Sürekli yaparak. Stunladığımız. Basic vuruşlarımız diyeyim. Bu arkadaşı kapıyı tanıyoruz. Extraction complete. One thing I should mention. A Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, it could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. Let's extract do this, him. Boss. Use any method you want. Yeah. Try knocking him out, or you can put him to sleep. Extraction arrived Now that we have more people on the R&D team, its level has gone up. It should be able to develop the cardboard box now. Open your eye droid. Gördüğünüz gibi R&D bölümümüz level atladı. Now select the cardboard box and start so we don't end up in the red. Development has finished. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply Supplies you with weapons and items. And there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP updated. or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys Please on their asses, a landing zone. you can stay around here a while. I'm just going to tell you that air support is not a problem, but a little bit supply drop. Yani destek equipment, geri gelecek mesela supply drop. Yani Sürücümüz gitmeyecek. Bunu kullanmayı öğrenmeniz gerekiyor gerçekten çünkü çok önemli olacak. Es tank alabilmek için kil almıyoruz. O yüzden sapresimiz yani sürücümüz sürekli olması gerekiyor. Bazı yerler olacak 10-20 tane asker olacak ve şu an daha başlarda olduğumuz için sürücümüzün atış sayısı, sayısı atışla birlikte bitiyor sürücümüzde. Yetişmeyeceği yerler olacak.
Bunların önüne geçebilmek için yeri geldiğinde kalkıp bunlardan destek almamız gerekecek. Burada herhangi bir rank almıyorsunuz. Sadece bize öğretici bir bölüm olması adına yapılmış bir görevdi bu. Yumrukla nasıl bayıltmanız gerekiyor ve faltonlamak nasıl oluyor? Bununla ilgili bir bilgi vermek adınaydı. Bir de şu var. Base'imizi nasıl geliştirmemiz gerekiyor? Bununla ilgili de bilgi veriyor bize. İlerleyen bölümlerde bir sonraki videolarda sizlerle daha fazla ayrıntı ilerledikçe paylaşacağım. İzlediğiniz için çok teşekkür ederim arkadaşlar. Eğer videolarımı beğeniyorsanız beğen butonuna tıklamayı, beni desteklemek istiyorsanız abone olmayı, bildirimlerden haberdar olmak için de çanıklamayı unutmayın lütfen. Bir sonraki videoda görüşmek üzere. Teşekkür ederim.